First of all, today is a very important day. We have an uh, important judicial uh, review on the issue of those uh, neighborhoods that were built on, um, on a land that uh, officially is not the is not under any kind of status. Uh, some people think it's a private land of uh, Palestinians, but the truth is there are not people that actually bring uh, proofs for uh, their property uh, ownership on those areas. And uh, our goal is to say that all the people that live here as a neighborhood that is part of Betel, a uh, very famous uh, community here in uh, Binyamin, in part of Judea, I think that this is, uh, this is part of uh, the natural growth of those areas and we can't let those people that live in, uh, as you can see, it, it's, it's caravans, it's not even a, a true building. Well, we, we can't let 100 children uh, keep on living like this. We, we need to build it as a neighborhood. When you see the areas around us, you see so many empty mountains and so many empty fields that you, you, you want to cry on the fact that uh, people are claiming that those uh, beautiful pioneers uh, should be um, destroyed and ruined uh, by a judicial decision that is not based on any kind of, uh, uh, I would say, um, ownership uh, proof. So I, I'm coming here to strengthen the, the, those communities and to say we'll make all the effort that those areas, those uh, neighborhoods will remain and will be built. Are there attempts to bring Prime Minister Netanyahu into the story to try to see where he's holding here? Uh, first of all, yesterday, uh, as you know, the Knesset has started uh, its um, winter session and we spoke to the Prime Minister during the, uh, the, you know, the weekly meeting that he has with his uh, members of party. So uh, we were around uh, 20 people that uh, mentioned the fact that uh, as part of our ideology and as part of uh, justice, I think, those areas must remain Israelis and can't be uh, destroyed like we, we've seen in Migron or in Amona. Uh, and we spoke with the Prime Minister and I think he, he got the message, the political message, that this is something that can't be done. How did he respond? Um, he said that he'll try to find um, some, some kind of a solution. And at the moment he thinks about uh, bringing uh, um, some judicial professors that uh, will uh, create some kind of committee that will check the um, status of the land, but in general he's going to take care of it and he understands he has a serious political problem if he'll try to uh, destroy those areas.